right here. I'm just dicing up my chicken. You can dice it. You can shred it however you want to do it. But I was dicing it up, getting it ready for the bread. Yeah, so this is what I did. And I just, after I diced it up, I just placed it in a bowl and put it to the side as I, you know, prepared the rest of uh, the ingredients that I was going to, uh, to use. And the next thing I did was uh, get my jalapeno peppers and I chopped them up really fine as another ingredient to go on top of the spicy bread. So what I did, I split the bread half, the bread loaf in half. And on one of the bread loaves, I added the Alfredo sauce. And on the other one, I added the Buffalo uh, Ranch and the Alfredo sauce on that one. And after I did this, I stuck it into the air fryer for a little while to get the, the texture. So when I put my ingredients on, it won't leave it soggy. So that's what I did. And after I took it out, I started layering my uh, bread. So I added cheese on it. Then I added the chicken. And then I added the Alfredo, some Alfredo on top. And I just repeated the steps uh, to get it to what I like, you know, what I wanted. So, yeah, that's what I did. Now, I use the Italian cheese and the cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese of your choice, whatever cheese you like. Um, I've made uh, the bread where I've used the Gouda cheese before. So, it really doesn't matter about the cheese. Whatever you like, and um, that's what you can do. So, once I finish layering and getting everything um, added on the bread... I put it back into the air fryer. Now you can cook this in the oven, it doesn't matter. I just did mine in, in the air fryer and I put it back in there uh, not long, maybe five minutes or so until the brown, the top got brown. You know, some people like it darker, but I didn't want it too, too dark. I just wanted to kind of melt the cheese and get a little texture on it. So, but yeah, that's what I did. And y'all, this bread was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, my family enjoyed it. Now, the spicy to me uh, was the best one. It was really, it had a kick, but it wasn't a kick to knock you over. It wasn't a kick to take that that taste and that flavor out of your mouth. It had a good flavor to it. So, yeah, with the jalapeno and the buffalo ranch, it did not overbear it. Uh, so, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yes, I definitely did.
Now this is how it looked uh, before I actually put it into the air fryer for the final step. And once I put it in there, this is how it came out. Isn't that pretty? It's brown just the way I wanted it. And I had some jalapenos on the side if you wanted to, you know, eat your, you know, a spoon of jalapenos and then eat that. It, it, it was good, y'all. I, I kid you not. This was really a really good bread. And you use it as an appetizer. <laughs>